and uh, I love this close up love the design although I'm pretty sure people are gonna make fun of it I don't care I'm telling you this this is probably I think it's my favorite but because of the the connection I think it could be stronger but I like the the idea of the two and uh, the way they clash uh, personality wise they have a, uh, an emotional connection and uh, Diana is being very defensive and and I love that that's the the ultimate Wonder Woman flex I mean we want to see Wonder Woman kicking ass but it's the ultimate Wonder Woman flex to you know I'm not even gonna beat you because they're not worth it I'm just gonna pick you from your back and gonna sit you down all right because you're not worth it I wish there was a fight, <laughs> yes, <laughs> but uh, I do enjoy it. I think they could have both. And then we go to the, man, I can't say, uh, you know, my reaction to hearing Beautiful Lie from the BVS soundtrack, man, that thing made me, that thing made me implode. That was beautiful. We have the villain doing the villain stuff. More, more, you know, Kylo Ren has a successor. It was a very pretty much deliberately non-climatic third act. Well, there was Cheetah, but even then, I think that's where she should have went above and beyond. You know, the Cheetah versus Diana, but she, um, Patty also chose to hold back. I don't know why, I think she might be saving it, but I think that would be the perfect opportunity, you know, to have her versus Diana, and here have her in a subdued combat, you know, more of an emotional exchange with, uh, what's his name? <laughs> Maxwell Lord, I'm so sorry. I know his name, I'm sorry. <laughs> and, um, I, oof, I mean, talk about, I mean, just give some emotional monologue and give it to Gal and she's gonna make it so much more efficient. And uh, I love this monologue. Uh, it it brought a tear to my eye. Um, oh my gosh! Oh my lord! Ah! You know, this is one of the things that I felt in the last movie when we have when we had Diana talking about love and having that emotional monologue, while the bad guy was like, "I am powerful." And what the hell, Patty? You did it again. This is... He undercuts her... The impact of her scene so much. Patty, stop doing this. I think the point that Diana is making is not that be satisfied. It's more about you wanting something without wanting to work for it. And we could argue, yes, Gal Gadot is so privileged. Well, I will say, as much as we like to think about it, it's not as easy to be to get where she is. Um, and Patty Jenkins is not as easy to get where Patty Jenkins is when we think about their privilege and the position they're at and money. Well, they worked very hard to get in those places, as much as we don't like to... Uh, acknowledge it. Um, these people worked very hard and they deal with a lot of pressure and they have very high profile jobs. And um, the message is not be content and accept your poorness and your miserable life. It's more about achieve your goals, but don't cheat for it, which is the message um, that we introduced in the beginning of the movie. It's kind of a basic message, but okay. Uh, and then we have more chaos. And I'm like, what the hell? And this image here is chilling as fuck. I love that. You know, the, the Russia thing. It was really good. I think she, if this was set in present day, it would be so much more effective than in fucking 85. That's what's annoying. It's 85. And it feels like it's not actually... There are no... Uh, stakes because this is all a make believe. It's very, it's very disheartening because it's very efficient. 
Um, if it was set in present day, like um, Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, it's um, it's it's easier for us to digest because we we could think about, oh my God, it's gonna happen! Oh my God! Instead of oh, that's in nineteen eighty five, that didn't happen. And then we have the son, father thingy. I like this Diana twist where she's talking to the whole world, and um, and again that monologue was beautiful. I wish it was a little bit longer. I like this Iris in my wish. It's kind of weird how people know the rules of the stone, but okay. I myself don't care for the rules, so that's fine. And then we have the father hugging his son, and I'm like. What are we doing here? I mean, do I need this? <laughs> um, I don't think we do, but okay. And then we have Last Christmas I don't know the lyrics, I'm sorry. Miss you Not you Okay. Um, Christmas time, oh my gosh. Is this why they released on Christmas? Because there was a Christmas sequence? This is pretty. This looks very 80s. And um, I was a little bit upset because I think this guy is not on Gal Gadot's league. And she's like, uh, yeah, I think I'll give him a chance. Fuck off, Gal. You should do better than this. Um, anyway. <laughs> yeah, we have this conclusion of... Okay. Uh, I don't... Okay. And then we have... <laughs> well, I don't... And okay, that was a, that was an interesting choice. I don't think it necessarily worked. Um, and this definitely worked. It's fucking Wonder Woman flying, swimming in the air. I love this style. It feels very different from from Zack Snyder's Man of Steel. She's gliding. She's swimming in the air. And uh, this very magical gold eighty four. So, um, what do I think? How, how are my finished collected conclusions? Wonder Woman 1984, unlike the first Wonder Woman, which was a quintessential Wonder Woman movie, this movie is not about Wonder Woman. This movie is about the world. The biggest takeaway for me is that it didn't need to be a Wonder Woman movie. It's weird when we think about that in the DCU or DC in general. It happens a lot. Movies that don't feel like they need it to be superhero movies. Like The Joker and um, Birds of Prey. They, don't, they didn't need to be DC movies because they had uh, so many different messages. I would argue that Birds of Prey needed to be a Harley Quinn story. And The Joker was so much more powerful because it was the Joker. Wonder Woman 1984 didn't need Wonder Woman to send its message. We saw a Wonder Woman movie where Wonder Woman wasn't essential. And I think that's where we are we are where we are okay, that's where okay, bye. <laughs> Kinda lost my words there. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, again, subscribe to the channel and probably go to my Patreon. I don't know why, because I think this is going to be on full in YouTube. But there's some stuff on my Patreon. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe to the channel. Like the video. This is very important. And uh, tell me what you guys thought of the movie after marinating on it with me. And um, see you guys next time. Bye.